It's our last new segment together this year. How do you feel? Pretty sad about it, Angel. Yeah, me too. Let's get started. Thinking about Mr. Noblesville, well, the date has changed. The big show will now be in February. Junior and senior guys can pick up the applications at the main office front desk today. Be sure to get those turned in by January 13th. Be sure to use your winter break wisely and practice your talent for the show. The LMC has books to take and snatch and keep on a cart in the entrance by the teal room. Great for reading over break or even to give as gifts. So make sure you come get some great reads today. Students, NHS is hosting the SAT on January 21st next year. If you are a junior and are planning to attend a four-year college or university, this would be a great time to take this college entrance exam. Be sure to register on the SAT website by next Wednesday. If you qualify for free or reduced lunch, textbook assistance, or are part of 21st Century Scholars, check with your counselor for a fee waiver. Hey NHS, if you're interested in things happening in your local county, you should check out Around the County and the Mill Stream. It's our video and paper news magazine that takes you story by story through cool stuff that is happening in our area. There are, all, there are always new episodes and issues dropping here at school and on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash NHS News. You'll also find it in our media department website at, Miller, at millermedianow.org. So go watch yourself some around the county, youtube.com slash NHS News or millermedianow.org. Go right now. I'm serious. You're not cool anymore unless you're doing it. That's all we have for today, NHS. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. But first, it's time for Fine Arts Friday. See you later, NHS. Hey, NHS. It's Fine Arts Friday. It's Katie, and I'm still searching for Ben. Let's go. Oh, my God. Ben has videos on here. Number 5th, Mr. Smith's Ceramic 2 class participated in Blind Day. On Blind Day, students either choose to throw on the potter's wheel blindfolded or hand build blindfolded. The reason this is done is because students rely too much on their eyesight. Throwing on the potter's wheel especially is something that is best done by feel. Normally, students find great success blindfolded, which is surprising to them. Mr. Smith says that throwing and centering on the wheel is like using the force. It's something that the students just have to feel. We gotta go look for him. Mr. Swart, you're the best detective I know. Can you tell me where Ben is? Day 37. I think. I don't know where I am. They keep asking me what English class I'm gonna take next year, like I know. I know exactly where that is. That's in Mrs. Lively's office. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're going to head there, and while we do that, we'll go to Artist of the Week. <laughs> I'm Austin DeWitt. I'm a senior, and I'm a photographer. I got into photography when I took a trip to California. I went to San Francisco and Los Angeles and I just had my phone and at the time phone cameras weren't that great and I kind of just grew from there. I would say there's two people. Um, first my photography teacher, Ms. Han, um, and then I had an assignment in our class. I had to parody a photographer and I choose a French photographer from the 30s, Versailles. He had a, an impact on some of my photos. The learning is probably the hardest part. You just gotta keep at it because I look back at some of my photos and I'm like, did I really think these were good? And I'm like, wow, I've grown so much in just the year and a half that I've actually been taking photography. And the office told me she was busy, which means she must have been. I will remember you. All right, NHS, next time I'll be seeing you is next semester, so everyone do great on your finals. I'll see you next year. Well, I still don't know where I am, and I've had no luck finding an exit, but uh, I guess I'll close this off. Have a great winter break, NHS. Stay epic. Now, on to birthdays, lunches, and sports. My name is Josie Sanders and I am an intern at Kit Magazine. 
I am their social media coordinator as well as I do a little bit of art direction. I would say the benefits of having an internship is just getting that real world experience. It's not something you can learn in a classroom. For underclassmen that are unsure if they want an internship or not, I would say definitely go for it. It's okay to take a risk. Definitely do your research on what you think you might want to do after college because there's a lot of people that will start an internship and they might think they really want to go into a field and once they start doing it they realize it's not for them. It's a way to see if it's something that you might want to pursue or not. Eric, I'm sad. This is our last day on sports together. It's okay, Nick. It's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Let's just get into some sports. The girls' track team has received some very high preseason rankings for the spring. Returning for Lady Millers is 8th ranked 1600 runner Abby Little, 5th place 400 meter runner Mariah Anderson, and 13th place 800 runner Suzanne Shuffles Gordon. The girls also returned their 4x8 team who got 2nd last year at state. Many Miller teams are in action this weekend. Tonight, the boys' basketball team plays at Westfield. JV starts at 6 and varsity follows. Then tomorrow, JV Wrestling is at Carmel and the Varsity Wrestles at the Hamilton County Tournament. Both start at 9 a.m. Then at noon, the Lady Miller basketball team tips off at home against Westfield. JV at noon with Varsity to follow. Then the boys close out the weekend. The boys basketball team plays at the Huskies of Atlanta, Arcadia, and Cicero. JV tips off at 6 and Varsity is up after. Let's go Millers. Eric, how do you feel about the weather yesterday? It was cold. Like Minnesota? Yes, cold like Minnesota. Have a great weekend, NHS.